You are tuned in to the Boston Red Sox Newsfeed Report on CLNS Media. Today is Wednesday, June 27th, 2017. This is Alex Barth reporting for CLNS, the leading online provider of audiovisual coverage for the Boston Red Sox and New England sports. Before we get to the real baseball, let me say, if you love fantasy baseball, then you need to try my new favorite app, Draft. It's like daily fantasy baseball, but not like the other guys. On Draft, you play live snake drafts with other people, just like in your season-long league, but the drafts last for just one night. And once you're done drafting, that's it. No trades, no waivers, nothing. Just set it and forget it. And the best part, you play for cold, hard cash that gets paid out the next day. Drafts start from just $1, so there's a draft for everybody. Look, I didn't get the first overall pick in my league. It hasn't gone great in my year-long league, that is. So I signed up for draft, and let's be honest, the draft's the best part. And with the draft app, you get to do that every single night. And to join today, you just have to search draft in the app store or play from your computer on draft.com. For a limited time only, all of our listeners will get a free entry into a real money baseball draft with the promo code Red Sox Beat. But again, use that promo code Red Sox Beat. That's right, you'll play a real money game for free just by using that promo code Red Sox Beat when you make your first deposit. Search Draft in your app store or go to draft.com and enter the promo code Red Sox Beat. The Red Sox started off their series with the Los Angeles Angels last night with a 9 to 1 win. And in that win, the Red Sox got something they've been searching for seemingly all season. And that is production from the bottom of the lineup. Thanks to a 3-for-4 night from Jackie Bradley Jr., a 2-for-4 night from Christian Vasquez, which included both players hitting home runs. For Vasquez, it was his third of the year. For Bradley, his fifth. The Red Sox also got production from the top of the lineup as well, of course. Mookie Betts led the game off first pitch. His 20th home run of the year into the bullpens out in right field. And J.D. Martinez with his league-leading 24th home run. That came in the sixth inning. David Price got the win for the Sox, going six innings, allowing just one run while striking out seven. Heath Hembree, Brandon Workman, and Justin Haley each threw an inning of hitless relief to follow Price. With the win, the Red Sox improved to 53-27. and 27. The Angels fell to 41-39 and 39 ahead of Game 2 of the series tonight. The pitching matchup, it will be Rick Porcello for the Red Sox. The righty comes in at 9-3 and three with a 3-4-4 ERA. On the bump for the Angels, it will be Andrew Heaney, 4-5 and five with a 3-4-3. Three, three. Those are his numbers this year. The Red Sox lineup tonight against Heaney. Mookie Betts leads things off. He's in right field. Andrew Benintendi batting second. He's in left. J.D. Martinez, the designated hitter tonight. He'll bat third. Xander Bogarts is the shortstop. He's hitting cleanup. Mitch Moreland, the first baseman, bats fifth. Eduardo Nunez is at second. He's hitting sixth. Seven, eight, nine. It's Devers at third. Sandy Leone will be the catcher tonight. And Jackie Bradley Jr. rounds things off with his red-hot bat playing center field. The Red Sox did make an acquisition today as well, signing second baseman Brandon Phillips to a minor league contract. Phillips, a three-time All-Star, four-time Gold Glove winner, and a Silver Slugger winner, best known for his days with the Cincinnati Reds in the late 2000s and the early 2010s. Phillips, now 37, last played in the league in 2017 when he split 144 games between the Atlanta Braves and the Los Angeles Angels, batting 285 in 604 at-bats. We will see if Phillips can provide some relief for what has been a struggling second-base position for the Boston Red Sox. That will do it for this edition of the Red Sox Newsfeed Report. For updates on the game tonight and all things Red Sox, make sure you're following us on Twitter at Red Sox CLNS and check us out online at clnsmedia.com. Reporting for CLNS, I'm Alex Barth.